All right, good morning. With me today is Ben, the Lawn Guardian. Thanks for coming over, Ben. No problem. Yeah, so today we're, I'm gonna be uh, taking out my front lawn with the sod cutter and transplanting it in other miscellaneous areas that need it around the lawn. And then I'm gonna till it up, level the front lawn, and uh, seed it with a monostan of Mazama Kentucky Bluegrass. Let's go ahead and uh, kick it off. Bog down in the mud here. So this area, I mean, it's way easier to roll up. I mean, compared to that side over there. Yeah. You guys can see, like, we can just easily roll this up like it's carpet. Versus if you come over here, we try to roll it up, it just it starts to crumble apart. I mean, it's just not nearly as dense and thick, and that's poor root structure and good root structure. Here's all the debris I got tilled up from the side strip here. All right, I got it about as level as I'm going to work on it today because I got to get that sod over there transferred to here. Some starter for it. That might be why I had some problems right here in the past. The plan was to have it perfectly level from my sidewalk all the way to the neighbor's drive and then from that line all the way down to the sidewalk. However, that would mean I would have to fill in this, which I can't. Also, I don't have enough topsoil to do that anyway. Yeah, good stuff. go ahead and attack my health strip. Why not? Because I'm already getting this whole area tore up and there's going to be overlap on the sprinkler water in this anyway. So, hey, I'm going to throw some seed down right here.
before putting the seed, I'm gonna take this groundskeeper two rake, make little lines for the seed to settle down, then I'm gonna go cover it up. So I'm just gonna go like this. I think that's gotta be a pretty nice seed bed for. started for left which will be perfect for my 1000 main portion of the lawn and I had to make my own special blend KDC blend of starter fertilizer from uh, urea ammonium sulfate potash and uh, potassium uh, in just about the same equivalent rates of starter fertilizer which is uh, roughly three to five to one proprietary mix stud green mix done. Oh my goodness, it feels so relieving to be done with this. Please water, come hit me. Ah. Oh. Man, this took way longer than expected. It's September 15th, I think, uh, Sunday, and so 15 days, 16 days later than I wanted to originally seed. I have a little bit of predicament here. I found out a way to use one sprinkler. However, with one sprinkler, it's gonna cause a shadow of no irrigation directly behind that tree and directly behind that mailbox. Boy, okay, here's the health strip spring renovation that I seeded this spring and is actually very successful. It's did great. I have no reason, no hangups whatsoever to um, seed in the spring. I overseeded the areas of washout because those are the only areas that did poorly. I did very low input, very low maintenance on this. I even cut it less and, and it did fantastic. It actually did better than this one. What I did, I over treated it and just overworked it until it, 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 uh, it didn't like it very much. Over here, you can see it right about here. All that sod came from up here. So uh, very happy with everything. If I had to do it again, of course I'd do it again. I have had these, this Orbit uh, sprinkler for about two years now, and I absolutely love this thing. I bought three of these guys for my backyard renovation, uh, and what I have 10,000 square feet. So it's kind of overkill. I think this one covers about 5,000 square feet. So in the main portion of the renovation, I bought an Orbit timer with two zones, and this thing I absolutely love. It could effectively go every minute if you wanted it to, uh, as compared to my old orbit timer, which could only go every six hours, which is a huge limitation, uh, unless you buy multiple, um, ones with multiple zones, like three zones, if you time them every six hours is effectively every two hours. Well, this one with two zones and everything, all the programming, effectively it can be every one minute. So um, let's go check out the other one. This is my other orbit timer that I've had. Uh, I had another one that had a single zone, but this three zone, I mean, it's a solid piece of equipment. It's feeding my health strip renovation. Unfortunately, I set it for zone two, even though I had it hosed up to zone one. So for the past two days, it's just been watering right here. Nice and lovely all the way down here. So it's like super muddy. 